Testing, testing, one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We begin this morning's proceedings with the prayers, which will be led by Miss Bonnet. Most kind and heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you continue to bestow upon each of us and our families. We thank you for today. And as we approach the 44th independence anniversary of our country, we ask for your blessings upon us. We ask for your guidance and your mercies. In your son's name we pray, amen. Thank you, Ms. Bonnet. Please remain standing for the national anthem of St. Lucia. and gentlemen, viewers, welcome to the official launch, launch of the 44th anniversary of the Independence Calendar of Activities. I am Kiba Talium, and it is my absolute pleasure to guide you through the presentation of this year's schedule as momentum continues to build towards observing our anniversary of independence. I have with me the Cabinet Secretary and Chair of the Independence Planning Committee, Mr. Ben Emanuel. Good morning, Mr. Emmanuel. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. And of course, we will have, be having a bit of a tete-a-tete -tete in terms of what can be expected for the upcoming schedule. So your team was charged with leading preparations for Independence 44. Perhaps we can begin with the overall approach taken to planning this year's activities. Thank you, Kiva. Uh, good to be here. Well, actually, the approach taken by the team was really to build on the momentum of last year and to some extent a continuation of our last year's independence celebration. Um, and of course, uh, that will be reflected, or it is in fact reflected in the theme that was actually chosen. And we'll talk a little about that, I imagine. But the whole concept was that we wanted coming out of uh, the, the COVID restriction, coming out of the um, the kind of protocols and other arra arrangements we wanted to kind of build momentum as we move to the milestone celebrations, perhaps later. But that was the entire that was the concept behind what the team was thinking. And it's interesting you mentioned building momen momentum. I didn't even know that that was um, what the intention behind it was. So this year's theme, can we speak to how it's presented in the activities for the calendar of events? Yes. Um, so again, um, last year, of course, our theme was Duva Assam, celebrating our people. Um, in the concept of building momentum, we've maintained that general theme, Duva Assam, which is uniquely St. Lucia. Um, no matter where you go, sometimes you hear themes for independence, for various celebra celebration, which can be kind of generic. But this Duva Assam, which essentially means as a people, as a nation, as a community, we are moving forward together. That is uniquely St. Lucia. And so we wanted to build on that. Now, this year, the theme being Duva Assam, one people shaping our destiny. We think it's important because it brings the concept of unity as one people, 
but critically, that as a people, we are working together, shaping our destiny. And you can take this at whatever level, from the family level, from the individual level, the community level, at the national level, we are all taking responsibility for shaping our destiny as a people. A very concise explanation. Of course, we would now have a jingle video which will also present the theme for this year's anniversary. Let's take the lead, now we're working together. A people with passion, filled with pride. It's the independence of our island solution. A feeling of greatness and joy inside. From the deep blue sea to Mount Jimmy, we're so proud to be Lucian. We are free, we have rights, let us all unite and give the best to our nation. Lucian's all as one, the sea, the sand and sun, the land we call our home. One people, shaping our destiny. Welcome back. We will continue our conversation with Mr. Emmanuel. Now, in recent years, independent celebrations have been tempered by protocol directing the scale of activities to be held. What can you tell us about this year's format? Well, this year's format is going to allow opportunities for greater participation at all levels. And in fact, in keeping with the theme, working together, coming together, um, the activities, and as they unfold and uh, are revealed, you will realize that it provides opportunities for participation at all levels. So we'd have um, national events, a number of national events, but we'll also have district, community, and uh, events at, at various levels of the society. The idea being that we really want to bring people together and not only be, de be dependent on only the national activities. So uh, we will have zonal activities, we'll have activities by various sectors, uh, led by various sectors, but at all levels of the community, uh, we will see the participation of people. In fact, some of the features or some of the events will really bring back people into um, independent celebration. Uh, for example, our, our military rally uh, and other activities that we'll be talking about. Um, so you will see this year an attempt made to ensure that we can maximize community participation, national participation from the schools, at the community level, at local government level, in the various sectors of the society, and then ultimately at the national level. And although it may not be, say, uh, an event, but we will be calling the entire nation to participate in celebration, in celebrating rather, our 44th anniversary of independence. Of course, it is a excellent jingle. It's one I'm sure which will invite quite a bit of attention and participation by our nationals. In terms of the scale of events, are there any adjustments? Is it something where we anticipate perhaps even more participation this year? Indeed, um, the scale of events will uh, be keeping in keeping with building of the momentum. So for example, last year, we had a, a very unique and well, a generally um, well-received activity, which was the baton relay, which brought and connected all the communities through the entire 17 constituency. Um, and culminated in castries. This year, again, in keeping with the theme of decentralization, we will have um, activities at three key locations. And of course, um, the organizers will speak to that. So everything will not just happen in castries. It will be decentralized um, in, in, in Viewfort and, uh, and, and Soufre and also in castries. Importantly, though, Kiba, we, we, are, we are elevating our, our, our profile as a nation. So not only will you see greater participation at the national level, but this year St. Lucia will be hosting a very special guest of honor. Um, and again, it speaks to St. Lucia's place in the world, in the Caribbean and in the world. We will be having the uh, Director General of the World Trade Organization as our guest of honor during independence celebration, again showing St. Lucia's 
uh, position and its influence in the Caribbean and in the world. We're hoping that that again will allow for St. Lucia's visibility mm -hmm. and um, promoting the contribution that St. Lucia's made over the years. So that is a, a feature that we're actually looking forward to. And, and generally, as I've said, um, it will bring back activities and events that will allow for participation of the entire nation. Of course, you, you just mentioned uh, the participation of national. So what are your hopes for how St. Lucians will come out in terms of participating in this calendar of events? Well, we, we're very excited about it. In fact, um, the number of activities, not only at the national level, have been organized by various organizations, um, organizations that um, came to us and say, we are, we are putting on something. Can we be incorporated in the uh, calendar of activities? For example, we're bringing back um, the, 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 the challenge walk, which has been a feature over the years, organized by the um, Northern, um, uh, the, the, the Northern Walking Organization or, or our group. They are coming back in this challenge walk around the island on the 18th and the 19th. We're also going to be having, um, of course, the Legacy Calypso. Uh, we are going to be having a gospel concert put on by the churches. Um, so overall, it will show that not only do we focus on the national activities, but at the community, the zonal and organizational level, we are bringing people together as we together do Varsam, one people, shape our destiny, and we think that Independence 44 provides that platform to achieve that. Excellent. Uh, before we continue, we will have a replay of the jingle, which is uh, presenting the theme for our anniversary of celebrations. the official launch of the 44th Independence Anniversary Calendar of Activities, we just spoke with the Cabinet Secretary, Mr. Ben Emanuel, who provided quite a bit of detail in terms of what can be expected from celebrations this year. Mr. Emanuel, thank you very much for speaking with me. And we would have just witnessed the video presenting the theme for this year. The video was, was coordinated by Tis the Creator, and the jingle was voiced by Mr. Irvin Ace Lochter. Of course, we're moving along, and I have with me the CEO of Export St. Lucia, Ms. Anita Daniel, who is going to be speaking about how she will be involved, well, her organization will be involved in this year's calendar. Ms. Daniel, good morning. Good morning, Kiba, and good morning to all our guests today. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> and welcome. Of course, you will be speaking to us on the role of Export Solution this year's calendar. So how exactly will the organization be involved in independence festivities? Export Solution is really collaborating with the Ministry of Commerce, who's our parent agency, and also the Ministry of Agriculture to host a business expo. 
that business expo will actually be taking place on the 16th and 17th of February. Mm -hmm. And the second thing we'll be working on is what many people may remember as Export the Runway, which was a fashion show um, that we hosted last year. And so that will also form part of the independence activities this year. Okay, so of course we would have seen the, the importance of Export the Runway, the success of that particular activity. So what inspired the idea to have it incorporated in this year's calendar? The Independence Planning Committee thought that it would be a really good um, activity to add on because it really shows the creativity of our fashion designers. Mm -hmm. From Export the Runway last year, we had many designers now being able to access um, lines, for example, in stores locally, but also at the hotels. And so we thought it was a platform upon which we could build um, to give our designers, give our fashion designers, give our seamstresses from the small communities an opportunity to also get ready for the upcoming events. Mm -hmm. So we know that jazz, for example, is coming up mm -hmm. and at Export the Runway this year, you will see our seamstresses, you'll see our fashion designers presenting a line of fashion for jazz. Mm -hmm. um, we know a lot of people import quite a bit of um, clothes. I've seen it online recently, people saying, let me go and order my clothes. Um, but we've also got a lot of calls from persons asking us what the contact information for the designers last year so that they could get ready for the upcoming um, season of jazz. Um, so this was really, a, it, this will be a really great platform for our fashion designers, for mm -hmm. our seamstresses, and for our St. Lucians to really wear something local this year at the various jazz events. So you'll be seeing a preview of the St. Lucia new jazz fashion line. You mentioned the fashion line, and of course, it's under the theme Fashion Hits the Streets. That's right. So we, it's, the general theme would be Export the Runway, but Fashion Hits the Streets um, would be what it is, it is built around. And we'll really be showing you fashion that you can wear every day, um, fashion that you can wear at the various events. Um, we are a society that goes out quite a bit, and we should not be importing too many clothes when we have excellent fashion designers here who can um, do just as well as anybody else. So who are some of the designers whose work will be featured? We have uh, quite a bit of them. We featured 23 persons before. Um, this year we actually have about 10 to 12 persons because of the time that we have. But Rafferty, many of you would know about. Um, so we'll be seeing some of the cover-ups cover for your jazzway. We have Helena's, we have Charlene, um, Lago. We have quite a few of them. So I ask everybody to come out to watch um, the Fashion Hits the Streets on Independence Day, actually, um, so you can see the full line of fashion designers. So give us an image of what that particular day will look like. What can people experience when they participate, when they attend this particular event? Uh, this event is part of a bigger event, which is Carnage Craze. Mm -hmm. um, that one We'll be looking at everything local, everything that is St. Lucian, looking at all our artists, looking at the creatives. And when you look at the part that we're responsible for, really, it will be a show that will take your breath away. It will be produced at an international level as everything else. And um, people should really expect to see very good designs, very good clothing um, that they can wear anywhere else. So in, in terms of how individuals were selected to participate, what would that process have been like? Um, we have worked before with many of the designers before, mm -hmm. and so we've just chosen some of those um, excellent ones. They're all excellent, but we've chosen some of those who really have excellent lines um, coming up. So that's basically how they were chosen. We spoke about the fashion event, Export the Runway, and of course you mentioned earlier the business expo, so perhaps we can visit that a bit. In terms of the international mandate of Export St. Lucia, what sort of opportunities perhaps can emerge from that collaboration with the Ministry of Commerce? The business expo is really something we're quite excited to host because um, even when we called our business places and we asked them about their interest in participating, everybody immediately said yes, and they were all excited. Mm -hmm. And so look out for 70 businesses who will be showcasing what they have to offer. Everything is locally made, everything is St. Lucian made, and we'll be using Constitution Park and the Boulevard for these events. Um, what Export St. Lucia does and the Ministry of Commerce is really to work with those businesses to bring them ultimately to the export market. Mm -hmm. um, you understand that exports is really how you earn 
quite a bit of your GDP. And the more that the manufacturing sector excels, the, the rest of the country excels. Mm -hmm. So we have also very good products which are internationally known. And those products, once again, people will have quite a chance to look at it. Um, what also is ha going to happen at the Business Expo, we'll also have a vendor's um, village. So we know that there are many vendors operating in the boulevard. These people will not be put aside. There's a vendor's village that, where they will be at the Derek Walcott Square. And so when you come through and you look at everything that's locally made within Constitution Park and within the boulevard, you are also invited and we invite St. Lucians to also look at what our vendors have. And you understand the demographic of who we have vending in St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. um, quite a few single parent mothers, um, quite a few persons who really labor every day very hard to make a living and so they will also have a very nice setup at the Derek Walcott Square and they would also have some entertainment and so we invite everybody to really make it truly national, make it St. Lucian. So as you come through the Business Expo and see what's happening um, in the Boulevard and Constitution Park, you also look, get a look at what the vendors have to offer on, on those two days. So in terms of the entertainment, perhaps, which may be available at these events, can you perhaps give us a preview as to that? We don't want to put everything out um, right now, but we do want to tell you that our creatives, our artists um, will be given an opportunity to also showcase what they have. Um, throughout the day, you will have performances from our local artists, um, many of them. Actually, we have about 10 to 15 of them performing throughout the, t the two days. Um, the, we are also going to have a, 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 a collaboration with the St. Lucia Tourism Authority mm -hmm. to also have some sort of um, jazz event, you'd remember um, Tea Time Jazz, to also have that on one of the days. But we'll be ending with a bang with one of St. Lucia's biggest bands, which I'll not say now, but we ask everybody to look out for it. <laughs> Um, we expect it to be to bring a lot of energy into the it, the city. Um, when you come, you you also have concessionaires. All of those are local persons who will be there. So as tastings are happening, and we have a lot of tastings by many. Um, very good chefs from St. Lucia. And as you test what they're doing, you're not only going to have a sample, but you could also buy the full meal, enjoy that within a, an environment where there's also entertainment and a lot happening. It sounds like a very exciting event. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it continues to unfold as the dates approach. Just a reminder to our viewing audience of the dates of these events. These events are on February 16th and 17th. They'll be held at the Boulevard, the William Peter Boulevard and Constitution Park. We have a business expo for you that is different, um, which incorporates everything St. Lucian. And we also invite you to take in what the vendors have, the vendors from who are St. Lucian too, and who will also be showing their offerings. So we anticipate that the middle of the Castries season to come alive with art, to come alive with music, to come alive with everything that is St. Lucian and locally made. Ms. Daniel, thank you very much for speaking with me. And speaking of things that are St. Lucian and highlighting what is available from our creators, we take in some more cultural content. Hand in hand, let's celebrate our country, the best we have to give. We feel so proud to be St. Lucian in paradise we live And we all have to work together to serve the land we love Wherever you may roam in this world is home you're thinking of Do for us all, for it together let's unite Do for us all, the land of people Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I have a special guest with me. The That would be Miss Giannetti George, who is the Acting Deputy Chief Education Officer, and she will be speaking with us on the National School Rallies. Good morning to you, Miss George. Good morning, Kiba. And giving us some insight as to what can be anticipated this year with the participation of schools, can we perhaps start with the dates of the events oh, that will most, be held? Most, most certainly. Um, let me just say um, that uh, if many people recall, in the past, we'd have one national rally. 
And in line with what the chair said earlier on, we have decentralized this event mm -hmm. to ensure that we can maximize participation by our students. Even as I recall my own experience decades ago <laughs> as a child, I remember basking in the sun, singing, mm -hmm. I charge, I charge myself. And we want to be able to give every child, or as many children as possible, that opportunity. So in that vein, we are going to have district rallies. And they will be taking place primarily on February 21st or February 21, 21st of February. And so we have District 1, Education District 1, whose rally is going to be held at the Grosile Resource Center, and that will be on the 21st of February. District 2, so Grosile, um, District 1 refers to the Grosile area, okay? And District 2, which, is, which includes most of the Castries area, would be on the 21st of February, and will be held at the Lady of the Rosary of Fatima Catholic Church. And District 3, which takes in most of Central Castries, will be held differently. It has a twist. Interesting. Be yes, of course there must be some variety <laughs> in this, you know. Um, so in that dis district, the schools have opted for having school rallies, individual rallies. So each school can have their own activity. And also, to, you, you would appreciate that the city it could be difficult to find one location to accommodate all of these students. So it just made sense to do it that way. Also, with District 4, it, the event will take place at the Stanley John Odlaw Memorial Secondary School. And that's going, also going to be on the 21st. Mm -hmm. District 5 is going to be on the 20th. And it's going to be on the grounds of the Clendon Mason Memorial Secondary School, District 6, that's Viewfort in the south. It's going to be held on the 21st at the Viewfort Catholic Church, District 7, Schwozel Catholic Church on the 21st, mm -hmm. and District 8, we have eight education districts, is going to be held at the Sufra Catholic Church on the 21st. So you can see that all of our rallies will be held on the 21st of February, except for District 5, which will be held on the 20th. And at these rallies, you can expect to see pageantry. Um, students will make presentations. They will dance. They will sing, of course, the national songs. We can't have a rally without those national songs, and we know them. And so we, we expect that the students will get this opportunity to exercise their national pride and to do it in a manner that's enjoyable and festive, you know. Of course, and you will notice that our venues are primarily in a church, and that speaks a lot to our people mm -hmm. and to the fact that, you know, worship and spirituality and God is at the center of us, do verse mm -hmm. So it was important for us to use that kind of venue, and so the students can understand that, hey, we are doing everything together with God as our center. And so we hope that these days of celebration will be enjoyable and that as our students relieve every independence, they can think of it with pride and enjoyment. Now, uh, you're speaking and I'm also reflecting on what my experience was like as a student preparing for these sorts of activities. How have the parents become involved in terms of this preparation process? Okay, so we can expect, keep in mind too that the planning is they are still ongoing mm -hmm. um, in many of the districts it has not been finalized. But you can expect that perhaps parents may help in putting together refreshments, providing support and monitoring of the children. They are free to attend, you know. And of course, we know finance. You can expect parents to, you know, contribute. And I'm, I'm happy that our Honorable Prime Minister is here because we want to ensure that every child has a miniature flag to wave on that day. So please put aside the budget for that as well, <laughs> you know. So, of course, I mean, Duvasa means everybody involved. So the students, their parents, parents are welcome. I mean, parents will not leave work and, you know, everybody has a responsibility. But whoever um, is able to, they are invited to come along and help make the celebration as enjoyable and meaningful as possible. Ms. George, thank you very much for speaking with us. And of course, I'm looking forward to see how our young St. Lucians will be demonstrating that love for country in the upcoming event. Most definitely. We will now have a brief intermission. And then coming up next, we have the Minister for Tourism, Dr. Unisile, speaking with us. Let's take the lead. Now we're working together. A people with passion filled with pride. It's the independence of our island solution, a feeling of greatness and joy inside. From the deep blue sea to Mount Jimmy, we're so proud. 
Welcome back to the official launch of the 44th, the 44th Independence Anniversary Calendar of Activities. With me is Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Dr. Ernest Hillier. Dr. Hillier, good morning. Good morning to you. And one of the more unique factors, which of course defines who we are as a people, is our culture that falls within your portfolio. Not just demonstrations of our history and heritage, but who we are as St. Lucians and how we represent our nation at home and abroad. So how can the representation of brand St. Lucia further our developmental goals? Well, I think if, if you look at you know, the world economy, you'll recognize the significant contribution that creative industries and culture would make to the development of societies. You, people have their national identities and oftentimes, national identity is expressed through culture, through creative industries, and sports as well, music, dance. And it's really critical for us as an independent nation, for us to be able to say to the world who we are as St. Lucians. And the theme, in a sense, speaks about that. And the cabinet secretary mentioned it, Duvan Sam, that we see ourselves as a collective moving together in unison to achieve our national goals. And we have to define the St. Lucian person, who we are. We're very proud of the fact that we have an extraordinary beauty, um, physical beauty as an island, and we boast of the pitors, our waterfalls, our rivers, and everything else. But who are we as a people? And the creative industries and culture give us that opportunity for us to say to the world who we are through song, music, dance, and um, Ms. Daniel spoke about, you know, the creatives in terms of fashion. It's another way of saying to the world who we are. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think through those endeavors, those activities, we say to the world, this is who the St. Lucian person is. And we have to fight hard to, to, to maintain that. But specifically, you notice in countries like the United States, um, England, and some of the bigger countries, the importance of the creative sector. Mm -hmm. And even Jamaica, within our regional space, 
the importance of creative industries to Jamaica and the economy. And we believe that the creative industries can actually become a fifth major industry. Mm -hmm. So you have tourism, agriculture, manufacturing, financial services, and the creatives. So not only would the creative industry help us in terms of projecting to the world who we are as a people, but it also can make a very significant contribution to our national development. And of course, in terms of the other portfolio that you hold, which is the Minister for Tourism, how of course can that also tie into having people perceive us and want to come and participate in who we are, our culture, and our history? Well, one links to the other. Um, tourism cannot be solely about resort-based experiences. Tourism should essentially be about community-based experiences. And the philosophy of this government is about ensuring that more St. Lucians participate in the tourism industry and more St. Lucians own the tourism industry. So we say to the world, this is who we are, come and enjoy it. And sharing of them, our warmth, our hospitality, really expresses who we are to the world. Um, the, you know, you hear wonderful stories from visitors about how St. Lucians treated them, welcomed them, you know, made sure that they were comfortable and they had a fantastic visit, especially those who come on honeymoons and for weddings. So this is who we are. And by using who we are as a people to make sure our visitors enjoy their, their stay here, really reinforces our tourism industry. Mm -hmm. And for the last year or so, we've introduced some new products. Um, the Kabawe Crawl. Mm -hmm. um, we've introduced the Free Picks Challenge to climb Go Piton, Piti Piton, Mount Jimmy. Um, we're working on other products, you know, visiting the waterfalls in St. Lucia. We've launched a community tourism, you know, program, which is about building touristic experiences within communities and to get people to move from the resorts to go into the communities and enjoy. With the cruise passengers, we've been doing quite a lot this year. And this week will be another big week for us in terms of saying to the cruise ship passengers, more of you walk to Castries. And as you walk to Castries, you'll hear the music, you'll, you'll go to the market, and you'll get a better experience of who we are as St. Lucians. And we're going to build on that. Um, we're working now on a special Sunday program because on a Sunday, the city is almost dead um, and yet you have hundreds of visitors just milling around so the, more and more opportunities have to be created for our people mm -hmm. to be able to you know present who they are from music song dance fashion um, to visitors and enrich their experience and in the process earning more income for our country because at the end of the day we have to earn the income so the prime minister can buy all the flags for the children um, <laughs> So, so it's really important that we create the linkages between export and ocean. They're doing a fantastic job um, under Minister Hippolyte in creating that linkage. And, and it's a real proud experience to see that we are able to use who we are as St. Lucians, our creative skills, for us to present it to the world through the visitors that come in here. Now, we've spoken about the visitors, we've also spoken about nationals, but there are St. Lucians who call our island home but may not be physically on, on our, our shores. So how do the members of the diaspora feature yeah. in this year's program? Well, you know, they, they are very significant. I mean, and almost every day you get somebody... Um, either send in messages that they want to be part of what's going on and some take to Facebook and express themselves in a very animated way. Um, but the, the point is there is a desire mm -hmm. from St. Lucians because of that same identity. They see themselves as St. Lucians um, and they want to be part of what's happening. So even for the present, the upcoming um, Jazz and Arts Festival that we launched a few days ago, let me tell you, the number of persons who've reached from overseas wanting to be part of the, the Jazz and Arts Festival and you have to explain to them, you can't, all of you can't be on main stage, um, but they want to be part of it because it has brand value, it's an expression of St. Lucian-ness and they want to be, you know, joining in what's happening and we encourage that because, you know, the world is a, is a global stage right now and the more St. Lucians we can have, you know, on that stage, the better for us. And we certainly encourage St. Lucians in the diaspora. We have to be very thankful to St. Lucians in the diaspora because through word of mouth and through their own networking, there are quite a lot of people who visit St. Lucia because other St. Lucians told them to visit St. Lucia, boasted about their country and encouraged them, you know, to, to go and see my island. And, 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 and they do. And, and that's welcome um, for the Jazz Festival, for Carnival. It's massive. 
um, the amount of St. Lucians that come back home to participate in the revelry that we have for carnival. So we want to say to St. Lucians overseas that, you know, you're not living overseas. Um, you, you, you actually still living in St. Lucia, although you're working overseas, because we want them to always feel connected mm -hmm. with the St. Lucianness that we talk about and to contribute in whatever way they can. So given the structure of the calendar for this year, how does it align with the creative development of our artists and what opportunities can exist for them in terms of the celebration this year? Well, again, it's been expanded this year. You heard from Export St. Lucia, um, Export the Runway. They spoke about St. Lucia and Expo. Um, and it, it's something that we collaborate very well um, in terms of brand St. Lucia. That every opportunity we get, we must create space and opportunities for our creatives to be part of it. They suffered badly during COVID. They're probably the most affected sector because, as you can imagine, um, events could not be held. Mm -hmm. And the event sector is largely driven by the creatives. So everything we do, we want the creatives to be part of it, to from singing, from you know, the violin player, the saxophonist player, to the dancers, whatnot. I'm looking forward to the Carinage craze um, because I know it will be a spectacle. I haven't seen the script, but we have some amazing creatives in St. Lucia. And we must always tell ourselves, everything we do creates space for the creatives because the creatives help define our identity, project our identity to the world, and at the same time, it creates employment. If you think about young people, young people's natural tendency is to be involved in sports and creative activity. That, that, that's just the nature of it. As we get older, our brains get tired, our body gets tired. You know, we, we are less involved in those activities. But that's the lifeblood of St. Lucia. And we must create a space for our creatives, our young people, to express themselves. Um, Ms. Daniel spoke about the jazz lineup for, at Expo. Um, at uh, the, the, the fashion show coming up. I'm looking forward to it because I want to be able to, you know what I mean, dress for jazz uh, and, and take, I already have my independence outfit. So, um, <laughs> and all of us must make a commitment to support the local industry. So if you just think about it, the designers, the seamstresses, the small business persons, all of them waiting for jazz, for independence, for emancipation, for junior Creole, producing clothing, producing fashion and, and it's been so locally mm -hmm. and maybe going over to the other islands and then going to New York in our, the diaspora, the same diaspora we spoke about, going to London to our diaspora. Just think about the industry that we started already through the fashion, the use of those fashion shows. Um, so for me, I'm really excited about it. I believe the calendar will give a lot of opportunities for our creatives to really express themselves. I'm glad some activities will be taking place along the waterfront. I think on that day, we have about three cruise ships in port. So it's also an opportunity for the passengers to come in and enjoy some of our culture and our activities. So I think it's a well put together program from what um, I have seen. And certainly the creatives ought to be happy that opportunities have been created. From the Ministry of Education, every school rally should be about the creative expressions of our students. You know, let them create and let them showcase and, and start getting them into that mindset. And speaking of creative expression, of course, you mentioned that your independence outfit is already yeah, organized, yeah. coordinated. I was tempted to wear it this morning, you, yeah. you, you, you but the Prime Minister <laughs> might not have been impressed. <laughs> you decided not to, <laughs> not to preempt. But I'm yeah. very keen to find out who that designer is. Uh, uh, Mrs. Daniel, should I say who? <laughs> yeah, um, actually, it was done by Charlene Lago. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, there, there, yeah. there you have it, who the designer is. Yeah. Mr. Minister, thank you very much for speaking with me. Mm -hmm. And of course, speaking of this, we have some highlights from Export the Runway, which will be indicating some of what you can expect. Body banging, looking good, walking like you know you should. You know what's going down, you know you run the town. Jaw dropping, show stopping, everywhere you go, yo, the champagne popping. Even in the streets, yo, on fleek. Look all your lips, them sway to the beat. Pose, pause, smile for the camera. Let, let, let's do some damage. Don't fade them, just slay them and chill. You know you dressed to kill. Cool, fresh, check your style, you so blessed. Work the runway like the pop star. You know you are They don't even got no words to say When you walk up in the place With that look up on your face Export that run From body banging, you're amazing Blazing We got to take off Swag, got a 
got swag for days. Strut, vogue, turn to pay. Fashion is your passion, like it brings your world to life. Babe, the way you own the stage is like you got the picture perfect outfit of the day. Like every day, fierce, nothing compares to you. Can't nobody talk that talk and walk that cat walks the way you do. Cameras flashing everywhere. You focus, you just don't care. The only place their eyes should be is open. Welcome back to the official launch of the calendar of activities for the celebration of our 44th anniversary of independence. We would have spoken earlier with the chair of the independence committee, cabinet secretary, Mr. Ben Emanuel. We also had a conversation with Ms. Sunita Daniel, who is the CEO of Export St. Lucia. And we just spoke with the Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire, Minister for Tourism. Right now, our next guest has the special task of unveiling the official calendar of events, our honored guest, Mr. Prime Minister, Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Philip G. Pierre. Good morning to you, sir. Hi, morning, Kiba. How are you? I'm doing quite fine. I'm quite excited because we would have been provided with quite a bit of detail on what can be anticipated for independence celebrations. So, of course, the celebration of our achieving independence is an occasion which provides opportunity for St. Lucians to reaffirm their love of country and proudly represent our island nation. What is the role of the diaspora in nation building and being national ambassadors of excellence wherever they go? Your thoughts? Well, um, first of all, I really want to, to thank the people in, in the diaspora for what, what they do for St. Lucia. I mean, their remittances, there are many people in St. Lucia who depend solely on what comes from the diaspora, so I want to thank them for that. Also, in, in the uh, diaspora, there are many people who are making significant contributions to these countries at all levels. At the, at the professional level, at every area in life, there are people who make, the, who make that contribution. What we want to do is to try our best to encourage these people not, not to come to uh, return home altogether, mm -hmm. but at least incrementally begin to, 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 to come, come, come home. We also want them to share their talents. Um, there are doctors, the scientists, people who have a wealth of experience and knowledge. They are inventors. Only last week I met Dr. Cato Lawrence, and he's a world-renowned scientist. There's Dr. Paris. There are many people who have a knowledge and understanding of the world who've lived out, out of Sydney for a long time. We need them, if they, can, if they cannot come back, share some of their experiences with Sydney Russia. Mm -hmm. Come here and speak to our students speak to our people because you know we need inspiration and, and these people are, are global citizens they are world renowned we like them to come back not not only for independence of course you want to come back for independence we like to come back generally to come back to be to look at St. Lucia as their really as their home and 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 this government very shortly we, we're going to be bringing into parliament a diaspora law which will create a whole slew of incentives for people from, from our generations living abroad to return home. Mm -hmm. Mr. Prime Minister, in your New Year's address, I'm just moving back a bit, you stated this is the time for us to unite and renew our faith in each other as we strive for a better future. So what are your hopes for the future of our nation and maintaining unity as we move forward toward marking 50 years of autonomy? First of all, I'm very optimistic about St. Lucia. I'm very optimistic to what I see coming out of St. Lucia, mm -hmm. to our young people, our students. I'm, I'm very optimistic. But of course, there is need for change. And I'd like if St. Lucians should begin to love themselves a little more, love their culture a little more, love what is St. Lucian, love the products of St. Lucia. If we could be a little more truthful, if we could be a little, a little less individualistic, and think about the, the person who has not got what we have. A, a more caring society. A society where the underdog is not kept down by the underdog. We, we try to bring, we try to come up uh, uh, together, right? But I'm very, very optimistic. I think it, it's a great future. St. Lucia is part of the world. We have, we have been affected by what's happening in the world. But I share the, the hope that our people 
they always make the right choices. Mm -hmm. They always do the right things. And the majority of, of people of St. Lucia, they want the country to progress. They want the country to do better. So I'm very optimistic. And I think independence is just going to be one of the ways in which we will show how we love our country, we will show how our country also loves us. And of course, now to the part of the exchange, which I believe is probably the most anticipated, the official calendar of events for our 2023 celebration. So, Mr. Prime Minister? You want me to see exactly what we are doing, right? I think the most significant part of, of these celebrations is going to be the youth rallies, where the young people are going to be in their schools, where young people are going to express themselves. I think I'm also very excited about the expressions of creativity, mm -hmm. the fashion shows, the business expo, etc. where what the solution is going to be, is going to be in, in, on display. Mm -hmm. We are global people. We have to work for the world. We have, to, we have to create for the world. And these exhibitions are going to show that clearly. There's also the, the youth rally, as I said, there's also the independence parade, and there's also the battle rally, where people are going to, again, come in together. And an, an aspect of, of this year's program, it is decentralized. Everybody's going to be involved. There is something in, 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 in the view for it. So generally, I think the program will bring all solutions together, and it's decentralized, and the whole of St. Russia will, will, will be able to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, there is the official video, which is going to provide as much detail as you possibly would need in terms of what can be anticipated for the upcoming independence celebration. So we now have this video to provide you with that visual. As we celebrate the 44th anniversary of our independence, all St. Lucians will have a chance to be part of this historic achievement. As we shape our destiny forward together, we will celebrate together. Join us at the Business Expo in the exciting and historic independent village from February 16th and 17th, where we will showcase our economic progress and where we will come together as one people. For a beautiful and moving ecumenical service, on Friday the 17th of February to give thanks to the blessings given to us as a nation, shaping the way we move forward towards a common goal. It's what creates every good team and our top performers in sport will be justly recognized for their contribution to our collective national pride at our National Sports Awards Ceremony on Saturday the 8th of February. We are a people who value togetherness of the family, village, community, and coming together for sporting events is a part of our culture. We will be on show at Legacy Calypso on Saturday, 18 February. These are the words and music that have brought us together, closer and given voice to so many. There will be togetherness, there will be music, and we will celebrate together. At our independent service and mass, Saturday, the 18th and Sunday, the 19th of February. Let us reflect on how far we've come together on our journey of independence and appreciate that we have so much to be grateful for. All are welcome. To show their national spirit at National Colors Day on Monday, 20th February. We are all part of this great nation, all part of this great future, and we can all take part. In our independence really, let's show the world how we are in step with each other as we move forward as one. Let's show the world how we are passing the baton to the next generation with pride. We will witness the raising of the flag and a grand fireworks display on Tuesday, 21st February. This will be a gala event as we salute the flag under which we all toil as one people. Do Vosam forever. It will be an awesome display. Of military precision will follow on Wednesday, 22nd February as we view our military parade. Do not miss the chance to see the men and women who have dedicated their lives to the safety and protection of our sovereign nation, marching and coming together as one powerful force for good. See our troops moving together as one. 
We will come together as one for our National Independence Rally on Wednesday, 22nd February. This is where we will feel the spirit of our people. Voices together, one family, one destiny together. This is an event for the whole family. The whole family is welcome to the Caranage craze on Wednesday, 22nd February. Fashion, food, and family fun in a fantastic setting. Show the world that moves here, pep. We are one people. Moving forward together, the Caribbean, connected by our beautiful sea, culture, and people, have seen many challenges, particularly in the recent years with a global pandemic, violent weather, and the economic and social fallout brought on by peace. We have persevered, often coming together to save lives and property. This is our true spirit as proud Caribbean people, and all of CARICOM joins in celebrating St. Lucia's independence. I invite you to attend the Independence Lecture on Thursday, 23rd of February, for an even deeper understanding of how we, as a unified people, one people, are shaping our destiny together. Our destiny together will guide how we, as a people, comport ourselves in our daily lives, how we treat each other, and how we exude the pride inherent in every citizen. Our investiture ceremony, scheduled for March 2023, will mark yet another milestone in our decades long journey as we continue to move forward together. St. Lucia's 44th anniversary of independence, a celebration of all that makes us proud. You will not want to miss a moment of this special time in our history. Duva Assam. Duva Assam. Duva Assam. Duva Assam. Duva Awesome! One people, one people, one people shaping our destiny. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the very robust calendar of activities for this year's independence celebration. And in listening to some of the presentations forming part of the video, Mr. Prime Minister, I actually heard Dr. Beckles is going to be uh, presenting the independence lecture. So speak to us in terms of the decision to actually have him uh, be a part of this year's festivities. Well, you see, uh, Dr. Beckles is a, is a global intellectual. He's done quite a, 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 a bit of work on the history of Africa, the history of black people, the history of the world. And he thought it was necessary, as we try to re-identify ourselves, as we try to deal with, with, with the issues of the past, we, we, we should bring him in so that he, he can give his experience, he can share his experiences. And he's also talking about the fact that we, we should get paid, we, we should get paid for the the, the, the issues of slavery, right? Where it is said that we, we have not been sufficiently compensated for what we suffered from slavery and colonialism. So I think bringing back is, is to share his experiences, share his knowledge on these issues. I think it, it, it's a very good choice because I think Beckles will bring, will explain to our people what our history is and how our history impacts on us now. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much for being with us this morning. And of course, congratulations to you and the government of St. Lucia, as well as the stakeholders, all the individuals involved in putting together this robust calendar of events for the Independence 44 celebrations. I would also like to thank Dr. Una Sile, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Tourism, the Cabinet Ministers, the Parliamentarians, the Cabinet Secretary, Permanent Secretaries, other government officials, Independence Planning Committee, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, and of course to you, the television audience who have been with us from the start of this program, individuals who would have been joining us on social media, and we would of course be anticipating an excellent calendar of events. Individuals, please come out. You know exactly what is happening for this year's independence celebration. So I know where I will be in terms of participating. 
The official calendar will be available on social media platforms, so look out for that. And this is where I bid you my adieu. My name is Key Battalion. It's been a pleasure being here with you. And of course, I look forward to seeing some of you at this year's event. Of course, we now have a final video a presentation again of what can be anticipated for this year's festivities. Thank you. As we celebrate the 44th anniversary of our independence, all St. Lucians will have a chance to be part of this historic achievement. As we shape our destiny forward together, we will celebrate together. Join us at the Business Expo in the exciting and historic Independent Village from February 16th and 17th, where we will showcase our economic progress and where we will come together as one people. For a beautiful and moving ecumenical service on Friday the 17th of February, to give thanks to the blessings given to us as a nation, shaping the way we move forward towards a common goal. It's what creates every good team, and our top performers in sport will be justly recognized for their contribution to our collective national pride at our National Sports Awards Ceremony on Saturday the 8th of February. We are a people who value togetherness of the family, village, community, and coming together for sporting events is a part of our culture. We will be on show at Legacy Calypso on Saturday, 18 February. These are the words and music that have brought us together, closer and given voice to so many. There will be togetherness, there will be music, and we will celebrate together. At our independent service and mass, Saturday the 18th and Sunday the 19th of February. Let us reflect on how far we have come together on our journey of independence and appreciate that we have so much to be grateful for. All are welcome. To show their national spirit at National Colors Day on Monday 20th February. We are all part of this great nation, all part of this great future and we can all take part. In our independence really, let's show the world how we are in step with each other as we move forward as one. Let's show the world how we are passing the baton to the next generation with pride. We will witness the raising of the flag and a grand fireworks display on Tuesday 21st February. This will be a gala event as we salute the flag under which we all toil as one people. The world some forever. It will be an awesome display. Of military precisions will follow on Wednesday 22nd February as we view our military parade. Do not miss the chance to see the men and women who have dedicated their lives to the safety and protection of our sovereign nation, marching and coming together as one powerful force for good. See our troops moving together as one. We will come together as one for our National Independence Rally on Wednesday, 22nd February. This is where we will feel the spirit of our people. Voices together, one family, one destiny together. This is an event for the whole family. The whole family is welcome to the Caranage craze on Wednesday, 22nd February. Fashion, food, and family fun in a fantastic setting. Show the world that moves here, pep. We are one people. Moving forward together, the Caribbean, connected by our beautiful sea, culture and people have seen many challenges, particularly in the recent years with a global pandemic, violent weather, and the economic and social fallout brought on by peace. We have persevered, often coming together to save lives and property. This is our true spirit as proud Caribbean people, and all of CARICOM joins and celebrating St. Lucian's independence. I invite you to attend the independence lecture on Thursday, 23rd of February for an even deeper understanding of how we, as a unified people, one people, are shaping our destiny together. Our destiny together will guide how we, as a people, comport ourselves in our daily lives, how we treat each other, and how we exude the pride inherent in every citizen. 
our investiture ceremony scheduled for March 2023 will mark yet another milestone in our decades long journey as we continue to move forward together. St. Lucia's 44th anniversary of independence, a celebration of all that makes us proud. You will not want to miss a moment of this special time in our history. Duvan Assam. Duvan Assam. Duvan Assam. Duvan Assam. Duvan Assam. One people, one people, one people shaping our destiny. Let's take the lead, now we're working together A people with passion, filled with pride It's the independence of our island solution A feeling of greatness and joy inside From the deep blue sea to Mount Jimmy, we're so 